Alright, this is my forge slash smelter slash rocket stove. Using the rocket stove that I made last year. I've got a fan blowing in. It's an all metal fan, thank goodness. Uh, there's of course some plastic obviously, but the outside's metal, the legs are metal, yada yada. I took a uh, oven grate and eight fire bricks to make the actual smelting chamber. Now what I've got in here is I've got one of those little one pound propane cylinders that I have cleaned out, made sure that all the propane was out of it, cut the top off of it, and then I've taken quite a few aluminum cans. I've still got quite a few around here that still need to be melted, but I put them in there and I melted it. And if you look inside, you can see that fan is putting out quite a lot of heat. I'm right to the end here. We've already melted down a bunch of cans, poured it. If you can look down here, we've got the uh, six ingots already. I'm going to go ahead. I've got a little bit that's still stuck in the bottom of the crucible. And what I'm going to do is I'm letting that melt a little bit more with what I've got left of the wood. Now, I did not use charcoal. I used wood for this. Um, I originally used charcoal. Problem was, is one full bag of charcoal did not last very long. So what I've done was, this is probably about three, well, two logs cut up and uh, split into smaller pieces. I used mostly hardwood. There was some poplar, some softwood. That burnt really quick. The hardwood burns a lot better. So. What I've got here, I've already got it. Nice red hot glow. If you look down inside, you can see that's that last little bit that we have to pour. So, this is the home built. Didn't cost me more than the original $3 to build the rocket stove, which all this is is straight concrete. And there we go.